there are three challenges. Um, two of the challenges, um, you have to write down words in the comments down below. And TikTok is really smart because TikTok can tell me who answered the question the fastest. So, can you be in the top 10 today? Only one way to find out, to do the challenge. The third challenge is a truth or false challenge. It is about general knowledge, something to relax. That's the last challenge we will do for today. Um, and you can learn something, maybe not about English, but at least about general knowledge, which is great. So, I prepared two challenges about English words for you today. We have a fill in the blanks challenge, fill in the blank challenge. I will say a sentence where one word is missing and you have to type out the word. I have the second challenge, which is the reverse spelling challenge. I will spell the word from the end to the beginning. For example, if the word is hello, I will spell O-L-L-E-H. And the fastest who can write it down will be in the top 10. And you will be up last and I'll say your name. Always the top 10. I'll say your names because you are so good. <laughs> Buddy, cheers to being in the top 10 of the challenge today. You can do it. I... I I am rooting for you. Rooting for you guys. I'm rooting for you. Here we uh, go. What is this sound? Slurping. Um, all right. The challenge is going to start off easy. All you have to do is write one word in the comments down below. What word is missing? I need to... My teeth... Beef before going to bed. I need to my teeth before going to bed. What word am I missing? Type it in the comments and TikTok will count your answer. Let me check what you are writing. I need to throw my teeth before going to bed. Not the answer. I need to have my teeth before going to bed. Probably a good idea. Um, I need to clean my teeth before going to bed. Yes, but we're cleaning by doing something specific. What am I doing? What am I doing specifically? You got five seconds. Five, four, three two, a one. The normal English sentence is I need to brush my teeth before going to bed. Pepita number one, Dominica number two, mellow, yellow, great name, funky, great name, Ruth, nice, it's Cat, Mia, Blue, Jenny and Nori all in the top ten. Congratulations, you are very fast. Fast. I need to brush my teeth before going to bed. You could say clean, but more native, more naturally, we would say brush. Let's continue. Let's continue. All right. A little bit more difficult word. Listen up. She likes to early in the morning. She likes to... early in the morning. Not only run. Not only run. I'm doing something else. Starting with an E. That's all I'm gonna tell you. She likes to... Early in the morning. What is she doing? She likes to... Eh, eh. 
I told you it starts with an E. You gotta pay attention to my hints. It starts with the letter E. If you like these challenges, don't forget to click the like. Tap, 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 tap that screen. You need to make it fit in the sentence. In this case, no ing. It's just gonna be the normal word. You got you have five seconds. Four, three, two, one. She likes to eat in the morning. Uh, that might be you, but not this person, because I said it is a more difficult word. It was of course exercise. Run young, Pam, Christian, uh. Jodvia, Ruth, again, good, Kevin, Vijay, welcome to the top 10, Imha, Leon, Shi, welcome to the top 10, good job. Some of these words in the beginning are going to be very easy. Don't you worry, I also have a difficult list. <laughs> this is the easy list, so uh, take it easy. Because there are gonna be words you do not know. Enjoy, okay? Enjoy! <laughs> All right, next word. Um, this is quite a basic sentence you might hear in movies a lot. The sentence is um, Hey, can you me the salt? Hey, can you me the salt? What word is missing? What word is missing? Hey, can you me the salt? You might learn this sentence quite often when you are learning English. It's a good sentence. Let me see. Hey. Can you borrow me the salt? Not in this sentence. Right now, I'm sitting at a table. It has to do with give. Yes, it has to do with give. But give is not the right word in this case. I'm going to give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Listen to the sentence one more time. Can you pass me the salt? Can you pass me the salt or pass me the salt, please? Depending on American or British English. Johanna, number one. Dominica, mellow, yellow, again, good job. Victoria, Nay, Ruth, Kevin, Poga, me, Gabriella in the top ten. Very good, very good. <laughs> VJ, so close, so close. Pass, yes. Pass can mean like if you're on Tinder and you're like, hey, I like this guy, but I pass on him. Pass. But you can also ask someone who is close to you to pass something to you. For example, can you pass me the salt? Can you pass me that pillow? I'm cold. Pass just, just means give, give. Um, but passing is really from hand to hand. Pass. P-A-S-S. -S. All right. Let's continue. Let's go. Continue. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da. Listen up. Now you know a new word. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. The room is a mess. We really have to eat. The room is a mess. We really have to eat. What word is missing? Look at this speed. Yes, yes. TikTok cannot keep up. You guys are so fast. TikTok cannot keep up. <laughs> The TikTok count went from 15 to 45 to 16 to 85. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Break TikTok. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. One more time. The room is a mess. We really need to eat. 
Five, four, three, two, one. Why are they so fast? Because it's a challenge. You want to be in the top 10, all right? That's why. Mellow Yellow, you made it to number one. Of course, it was clean. Pam, uh, Sedina, Lulu, Funky, Motivation, Ingrid, It's Cat, Juliana, Trinity in the top 10. Did I, Mr. Ben and Dominica, so close to the top 10. <laughs> Guys, have a look around. Is your room a mess? Do you feel like you need to clean your room? Then tap the screen and ignore it, okay? Let's just keep doing this challenge. <laughs> Sorry, cannot clean the room right now. Trying to be top 10. <laughs> all right, all right. Good choice. Yeah, your room is a mess. It's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> Let me look around. Okay, you can only see this today. Sorry, I cannot show my room to you today. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Next one. Next one. We're going to do a few more easy words and we're going to do difficult words. So don't forget. All right, this word is a little bit longer. So maybe we're going to have a new top 10. Listen, the baby is... In the crib. The baby is in the crib. What is the baby doing? I knew I would get a few of you. <laughs> the baby is doing something, guys. If it is doing something, you need I-N-G in English. If the baby is doing something right now, at the ing. <laughs> Got him! Got him! <laughs> the baby is in the crib. The tea is sweet? Nope. I never put sugar in my tea. And it is jasmine tea if you'd like to know. Five. Four, three, two, one. Yes, it is a beautiful continuous tense. Dominica, number one. Of course, it is sleeping. Uh, Juliana, Pam, Joanna, the spinning cat. Welcome back to the top ten. Mellow Yellow, Ruth, it's cat. La Pelle Roja, and uh, Tan. Welcome to the top 10. Congratulations. Sleeping. The baby is sleeping in the crib. Ing. I-N-G. I saw many people write sleep, but it is at this moment that the baby is there doing its thing. If it is doing something right now, at the I-N-G. All right. You're learning some English today. Congratulations. Congratulations. Are you ready for the next one? Are you ready for the next one? Huh? We'll do uh, two more easy ones. And then we'll do difficult English words. Yes? All right. I'm going to fill in the next one. All right, the sentence is, can you please wash your, da, 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 please, can you please wash your, can you please wash your, not only a cup, I'm showing you more than just a cup, can you please wash the, what are all these things combined if I need to wash them? Cup, plates, uh, cutlery. If I have all of these, can you please wash the da da da? Da da da? Starting with a D. And you will say, oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> what word am I looking for? 
Can you please wash the d -d 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 -d. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All of the things that you eat from and make dirty are, of course, called the dishes. Woo! Dishes. D-I-S-H-E-S. -S. Quick! You are quick. Number one. Congratulations. Trinity, Jodvia, Opal, Ingrid, VJ, Peach, Kia, Kia, Kevin, Sophia, Funky. Welcome to the top 10. Congratulations. Dishes, guys. Dishes. If you have a girlfriend uh, and you are a bit lazy, I'm sure you've heard it. Can you please wash your dishes? You are so disgusting. Maybe not. Maybe you have a good. <laughs> All right, let's just move on. <laughs> true? True. I, 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 am, I only tell you truths, guys. I only tell you truths. All right. I'm gonna give you a... Two words. Why not? Next one. Two words. He forgot to... His shoes and went barefoot. Oh, no. That doesn't sound good. He forgot to... His shoes and went barefoot. Two words. Two words. I gave you the... If you didn't listen, I gave you... You can forget to tie your shoes, but you are still wearing your shoes. In this case, the person went barefoot. So what did he forget to do? He forgot to... His shoes and went barefoot. I gave you two words, Jenny. You gotta listen. I said two words. <laughs> I know you are very fast and you're typing with the speed of light. But don't close your ears. To sell shoes. Uh, he forgot to sell his shoes and went barefoot. Not gonna work. Sorry. Um, five, four, three, two, one. Of course, he forgot to put on his shoes and went barefoot. I don't know how you forget to put on your shoes. Must have been a good weekend. Must have been a good night out. Um, Juliana, Dominica, D, my hot mama, Trinity, Papita, Sh, Kevin, Sof, Kog, and Alex. Welcome to the top 10. Barefoot, guys, barefoot. I said barefoot means without shoes or socks. Barefoot. Just like this. I'm not going to show you, okay? Calm down, calm down. For the people with a foot fetish, calm down. You have to cheat from now on. Cheating is going to take longer than just guessing a word. So I would suggest uh, keep guessing. <laughs> All right. All right. Last word. Last easy word. Barefoot. F-O-O-T. The last easy word. And then we're going to have difficult words. So uh, enjoy this one. <laughs> you're laying in bed. You're waking up and you're like, oh, no, the alarm clock didn't this morning. One word. The alarm clock didn't this morning. What word am I missing? What Word am I missing? Gal, you gotta listen. I said one word. What did the alarm clock not do this morning? I don't know. I don't know. 
I know what you didn't do, which is tapping this screen. Maybe you should try. It's really good, you know, because the more taps, the more people can learn free English every day. <laughs> Repeat it, please. The alarm clock didn't this morning. The alarm clock didn't this morning. What did it not do? Alarm clocks, man. Alarm clocks. Always gotta put it on snooze. <laughs> All right. Five, four, three, two, one. I was looking for this simple word ring. R-I-N-G. Not the ring from your finger, but the ring. As in a sound the alarm clock makes. Dreaming girl number one. Autumn, Joanna, Papita, Elkon, Quick, It's Cat, Pam, Trinity, Grace. Welcome to the top ten. Ring. Tell me, guys. Are you a one alarm person or do you have five alarms? Like every minute so you don't miss it. Or do you really love your snooze button? Who is it? Who is it? I know there's a few of you. No alarms? <laughs> One alarm person? Very nice. <laughs> you have seven? How does that work? As soon as you turn one off, the other one goes on? You wake up before the alarm. I like that feeling. Just the one minute before the alarm, you're like, Ah, I beat you. I beat you. Let's go. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Mm. The alarm is detached. <laughs> I, I am the person these days that will put an alarm very early and then I'll wake up at that time and I'm like, I don't have to go anywhere and I'll just make an alarm like an hour later. <laughs> I'm lazy, okay? Don't blame me. Um, anyway, those were the easy words. Congratulations so far. If you've made it to the top 10, great job. If you've learned a new word, also a great job. But I'm sure that in the next part, you're going to learn some new words. We're going to do a shorter version with more difficult words. So let's see how it goes. We're just going to continue right now. Are you ready for more difficult words? Are you ready? As they say in Chinese, Jumbe Halma. Jumbe Haulama, are you ready? Remember, these words are more difficult. I don't like these sentences at all. <laughs> I wish you good luck. All right. We're going to start out with the easy one. Of the difficult words. Listen. The chef prepared a gourmet with exquisite flavors and presentation. The chef prepared a gourmet with exquisite flavors and presentation. Prepared. A gourmet what? A gourmet what? You cannot say gourmet food. Nope. You could say gourmet dish. But not in this case. Not in this sentence. There is only a gourmet breakfast. I don't think you eat gourmet food as breakfast. <laughs> A gourmet receipt. No, he prepared it already. It's already done. The chef prepared a gourmet with exquisite flavors and presentation. What word am I looking for? Five, four, three, two, one. I was just looking for the word meal. A gourmet meal is the most common uh, usage. Chris, number one, Johanna, Sof, Kia, Kia, Ruth, Pepita, D, Emily, Nosaiba, and Heli. Welcome to the top 
Han, there you go. Gourmet meal, gourmet cuisine is a little bit much. Gourmet is already difficult enough. So normally we'd say gourmet meal. That's the most normal word you'd use. Thank you for the follow, everybody. If you follow me, we do these challenges every Wednesday and Saturday. What does it mean, gourmet? Who can tell me the meaning of gourmet? Anybody knows? A gourmet meal. What type of meal is this, guys? What type of meal is this? Gourmet. G-O-U-R-M-E-T. Um, gourmet. Um, normally refers to a certain standard of meal, a certain standard or of meal, like a fancy one, an expensive one, like this one made by the chef. Ooh, amazing gourmet meals. Um, I cook every day, but my meals are like the opposite of gourmet meals. <laughs> They're like pig food. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta cook. I'll do it, but I'll finish it really fast. Nom, 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 nom. All right, done. Next one, let's go. Next one, let's move on, all right? Enough about pig food. Listen up. The composer created a beautiful that evokes deep emotions. The composer created a beautiful that evokes deep emotions. Remember, the word is more difficult, so I am not looking for song. Uh, these are the more difficult words, like B1, B2 words. Music cannot be the case because I said, ah, I said, ah. The composer created a beautiful music, nope. Because music is a plural. A uh, beautiful... Ooh, it could have been masterpiece. I'm sorry. It's not masterpiece. It could have been. It could have been. <laughs> that evokes deep emotions. What word am I looking for? A beautiful... The composer crea created a beautiful... That evokes deep emotions. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me see what you got. Ooh, Autumn got it again. Number one. Good job. The composer created a beautiful melody that evokes deep emotions. Melody. We would always refer to it as a beautiful melody, guys. Autumn, Sof, Dominica, Ingrid, Brianna, Didi, IX, Angie, welcome to the top 10. Manuel, welcome to the top 10. And Kevin, you made it to number 10. A beautiful symphony could definitely be, but not in this sentence. <laughs> he is a composer. He does not make a poem. Ooh, difficult. You got it. You got it. So keep it going. How about peace? A beautiful peace. It's too general. In this beautiful sentence, just saying peace kind of ruins the sentence. It's not wrong, but it's not right either. <laughs> it's like the chef, the chef cooked a beautiful McDonald's meal. Just doesn't work, okay? Just doesn't work. <laughs> All right. But listen up. The author, the author wrote a gripping that kept readers on the edge of their seats. The author wrote a gripping that kept the readers on the edge of their seat. And in this case, I didn't say poet, so it's not a poem. 
I use the word author. Author. Which that kept readers on the edge of their seat. The author wrote a gripping... What? Hmm. I told you it is not book. It's just like the last sentence. You could use book, but it ruins the whole sentence. It's not book. I'm looking for a B1, B2 level English word. It's not poem, because I didn't say poet. You gotta pay attention. <laughs> the author wrote a gripping novel. The author wrote a gripping novel that kept readers on the edge of their seats. My hot mama, you made it to number one. Kevin did a Papita, Peppa Pig, Eliza, Ruth, It's Cat, Jess, a Wonderful, and Lorena in the top ten. Congratulations. Novel. Okay? Again, if you put the bo word book in this sentence, kind of ruins the sentence. Because then I would have said, instead of author, I would have said writer. The writer wrote A. I wouldn't have used a gripping. I would have said amazing. <laughs> the sentence was, the author wrote a gripping novel that kept readers on the edge of their seats. What do you mean with uh, gripping, guys? Gripping. A gripping novel. What is a gripping novel, guys? A gripping novel. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know? Gripping. Who can tell me? There are so many of you here. An interesting, a uh, little bit more than that. Catchy. Not the right word. Thrilling. Oh, yes. Thrilling. That's closer. Not horror. No. Gripping. Something grips you. Think about it. Something that grips you. Just reading it and you want to keep reading. You are so in the story. You are so engrossed. Beautiful word. Engrossed. Yes. Exciting. Yes. It's like uh, my favorite writer. If you have like a Dan Brown book. All of his stories are quite gripping. You are glued. You're on the edge of your seat. Because something exciting is always about to happen. You don't know what's gonna happen. Cliffhangers. Action. Everything. <laughs> Can mean a lot of things. Attention grabbing. Yes. That's it. A gripping novel. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Here we go. Listen up. The journalist reported on a major that had global implications. <sighs> the journalist reported on a major that had global implications. On a major. It is not a news, guys. News is not the right word. You got to pay attention. You are not listening. The journalist reported on a major that had global implications. On a major, he is reporting. He reported on a major. Um, it is the synonym for the thing that is happening. It doesn't have to be a disaster. It can be a positive thing. It, we just said it had global implications. We didn't say if it's good or bad. The journalist reported on a major... I'm going to help you out and then I'm going to give you 10 seconds. It starts with the letter E. I'm looking for a word with the letter E. The journalist reported on a major E that had global implications. What do you think? Five, four, three,
three, two, one. Guys, you gotta pay attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> Some of you are still guessing other words than an E word. <laughs> All right. The journalist reported on a major Dominica event. Yes, number one, congratulations. That had global implications. Kevin, number two, Ziggy, Ning, Shilin, wonderful, Johanna, Swish, Boy, Shu, and just one in the top ten. My hot mama, Dida, and Ruth, so close to the top ten. <sighs> so close. A major event. E-V-E-N-T. It is not disaster because I just said global implications. I don't know if it's good or bad. An event. Something that is happening. Something that is happening. It is also not major news because we had the word a. Uh, a uh, major news. It's not correct. News is plural. Um, I would have said on major news. Then it will be okay. You learn something new. All right. Good job. Good job, everybody. We're going to do three more words in this challenge. Three words to finish off this challenge. Don't worry. We got two more challenges after this one. Two more. So let's do the three words first and see who can be in the top ten. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this. Okay. Okay. You got it. Um, I'm going to give you a difficult one. I'm going to give you a difficult one. Maybe the most difficult one of tonight. <laughs> ha! All right, here we go. The pilot executed a flawless during a challenging landing. The pilot executed a flawless during a challenging landing. Notice how I'm giving you a hint. I am mouthing the word because it's a difficult word. <laughs> you can guess it. But how to write it? The pilot executed means he is doing it. He is doing it at that moment. A flawless without mistakes. A flawless during a challenging landing. What is he doing during the landing? He is executing a flawless... I will give you a hint. It starts with the letter M. M. It starts with the letter M. This is the difficult word of today. The pilot executed a flawless during a challenging landing. What do you think? Five, four, three, two, one. Now you have three words left in total, all being one word. <laughs> Kevin, you made it to number one. There you go. The pilot executed a flawless maneuver. During a challenging landing. Kia, kia, Ruth, Ning, Trinity, Papita, Peppa Pig, uh, Miu, and Lorena and Joanna in the top 10. It can run Tony in the so close maneuver. Guys, maneuver. Have you ever seen those airplanes landing when there's a lot of side wind? Whew! That is... That is why you need to practice, okay? That is why you need to practice. Those are crazy. I really, uh, pull. <laughs> They're crazy. Maneuver, guys. M A N E U V E R. Maneuver. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome. Two fill in the blank words left. To fill in the blank words left, and then if you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. All right. And remember, these are difficult words. Listen up so hard. That's the point. That's how you learn English. All right. The judge delivered a fair and impartial 
based on the evidence presented. The judge delivered a fair and impartial based on the evidence presented. Um, somebody said ruling. It could have been ruling. You are right. In this sentence, ruling would work, but it's not. <laughs> a fair and impartial judgment. Um, there's a word for this judgment. Specifically, when it comes to a judge, we do not call this a judgment because a judgment is just um, is just the idea. And this thing is something on paper. Something on paper. The judge delivered a fair and impartial based on the evidence presented. What word am I looking for? You have got 10 seconds. It's a difficult word um, to spell, to write, to think about. Five, four, three, two, one. The word is verdict, guys. I was looking for the word verdict, and it is not V E R E in this case. I am looking for V E R. <laughs> <laughs> Dominica, Cassia, Ruth, Swishboy, Joanna, Miss, La Pally, A, B, Ning, and D. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great job. You got it. Verdict. Verdict, which is like the conclusion of the judge. The verdict. <laughs> V-E-R-D-I-C-T. Good job. Verdict. <sighs> All right, last word. It's a little bit easier, so I'm sure you can guess it. The last word of this challenge. Listen up. Listen up. The athlete demonstrated exceptional and won the championship. The athlete demonstrated exceptional and won the Championship. What word is it? What word is it? Exceptional. That's my hint. <laughs> Exceptional. He demonstrated. So it is something he has. Exceptional. What does he have? Exceptional. It is not strength, I can tell you. The athlete demonstrated exceptional strength and won the championship. Not in this case, because athlete is very general. It could mean a lot of different kinds of athletes. So I'm just looking for the more general word, which also starts with the S. Um, the athlete demonstrated exceptional five, four, three, two, one. The athlete demonstrated exceptional skills and won the championship. La Pally number one, Autumn, Kia Kia, Paulita, AB, Cassia, Eliza, uh, Joanna, very good, another Joanna, and Ziggy in the top 10. Kevin, you made it so close to the top 10. So close to the top 10. Less S, skills. The athlete's skills, not skill. <laughs> it's somebody else, it's not me skills. That is the word. Very good. Very good. I'll give you uh, one last one because it is very important. Two words. Two words. 
If you want to learn English, you gotta do it. If you want to learn English, you gotta do it. What you gotta do it, guys? If you want to learn English, you gotta do it two words. What do I always tell you? You gotta do it hard way. That's not a good grammatical sentence. You gotta do it. What word am I looking for? This is the. Th this is always my number one tip. If you wanna learn English, you gotta do it. You got ten seconds. <laughs> Two words, not one word. Two words. You gotta do it. Five, four, three, two, one. You gotta do it every day. Every day. Kasia, wonderful. Aiken Ren, Jess, K, Dominica, Inda, Tony, Elkan, It's Cat, all in the top ten. Congratulations, my hot mama. You gotta pay attention to words I told you five times every day. I put it together. It depends on the sentence, but normally they are split. Please guess more words. Not in this challenge. We have two more challenges. But thank you for doing the first challenge with me. All right. Listen up. Challenge number two. I'm gonna spell out a word for you. You have to write a word. That is all. But there's a twist. Which is literally a twist. I will spell the word from the last letter to the first letter. So you gotta listen well. This is as much listening practice as vocabulary practice. So pay attention, pay attention. The first few words, I'm not going to give you a hint. I'm literally spelling the word out for you. No hints. Um, the first few words I will only spell once because they are really, really easy. The more difficult words I will spell twice because they're more difficult. Make sense? Are you ready for the challenge? Just say yes or like the live stream. I tell you to like and there's 8,000 likes extra. You guys are amazing. You are amazing. Do you know that you are really, really amazing? Keep on learning English. Keep on doing the challenges. Let's go. All right. Here we go. You roast people when, when they get it wrong. If I don't see your name in the top 10, you're going to be roasted. All right. Here we go. Here we go. The first few words, very simple. So you just got to be fast. You just got to be super fast. I'm sure you can do it. Listen up. I'm spelling the word from the last letter. H-S-U-R-B. What word is it? H S U R B. What word is it? I don't know. What word could it be? Let me uh, boil hot water. I don't have to explain it, right? Seems like quite an easy challenge, right? Sorry, got some yogurt on my hand. Hmm, you are doing it correctly. Five, four, three, two, one. It was, of course, brush. Brush. B R U S H. Like brush your teeth, you gross individual. Um, it's cat number one, Dida, Demon, Joanna, Ka Kia, Kia, 
Jonathan, Peppa Pig, Nicolette, Vanessa, My Hot Mama, oh, in the top 10. Nana, Trinity, and Moose, so close to the top 10. So close. <laughs> brush, like brush your teeth. Brush your hair. Brush. Easy, right? It's not a difficult challenge. You're just going to be quick. Here we go. Next word. Next word. Listen up. I spell the word from the last letter. H C N U L. What word is it? H C N U L. What word am I looking for? I wasn't looking for munch. I said L, not M. <laughs> munch. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see who got it in the top ten. It's Cat again. Jonathan, Nana, Joanna, Dida, uh, Leigh, Farida, Eliza, Vanessa, and Kya Kya. All in the top 10. Denise, Molly, so close to the top 10. Great job. Great job. Um, so close. What's the topic today? I spell the word in reverse. You guess the word, you will be uh, amazing. Okay, you are amazing. That's how this works. <laughs> no, no, more difficult. This is my game show. Calm down. We're starting off easy. All right, next word. Here it is. The word is spelled out from the back. N A E L C. I'm only saying it once. After you, what word did I just spell in reverse? <sighs> Trinity. Oh, you wrote it wrong. What word did I spell? N A E L C in reverse. Reverse means opposite. Cheers. Five, four, three, two, one. The word was, of course, clean. Clean. C L E A N. Clean. Uh, Javru, Glau, Kia, Kia, Carito, Kevin, Jasmine, Inda, Jan, Dewey, Molly in the top 10. Congratulations. Congratulations. You got it. You got it. Yes, Jasmine in the top 10. Nice. Nice. Dewey, you got it. All right. Clean was the word. Clean victory. Good job. <laughs> All right, next word. We're just going to continue like this. Just got to continue. All right. The word from the back is H C T A W. Ooh, W. What word is it? What word is it? <laughs> Did you mistype the word? What's been going on? <laughs> it's a five letter word, guys. <laughs> yes, now you're guessing it. Very good, very good. Don't mistype it. Don't mistype it. Just say the word. You don't have to say anything else but the word. <laughs> Too slow? It's okay. Five, four, three, two, one. 
the word was watch, of course. W-A-T-C-H. Watch. Uh, Joanna, Jonathan, Kevin, Glau, Cindy, Dominica, Dio, Vanessa, Nana, and Dewey again in the top 10 in that trinity. So close to the top 10. So close. <laughs> watch. As in watch or watch. I am watching you. I'm watching you. Are you learning English every day? I am watching you. <laughs> Do you feel the pressure now? You gotta learn every day. Now, now that you follow me, you gotta learn every day. No other choice. Watch. All right. Let me give you a few more easier words. Here it is. From the back, Y, D, U, T, S. That's the word. You don't read comments? I am doing a game show. My, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm doing a game show. <laughs> What's the word I just spelled backwards? Y, D, U, T, S. What's the word? They are fast. <laughs> they are faster than the delay, I feel like. <laughs> Another important do thing to do every day. I mean, I am watching you, so you better do this. Five, four, three... To one, the word was study, of course. Study, S-T-U-D-Y. Nori, Nana, Kevin, Papa Pig, Jasmine, Vanessa, Dewey, Joanna, Kia, Kia, and Brianna. Welcome to the top 10. Congratulations. Welcome to the top 10. Study. You gotta study your English. Study. <laughs> <laughs> the Y can be confusing because it can be both a vowel and a consonant. So, <laughs> all right, 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 all right. You want to speak fluent? Keep on studying. <laughs> What's the word? I am spelling bad words. Shilin, thank you so much for your support. The word is like this R. E W O H S R E W O H S. What's the word? What's the word? See, I am exposing you. First, I say I'm watching you. Then I say study because I know you need to study more. I know you're not studying. And then I'm spelling this word. What could it mean? R-E-W-O-H-S is, of course, in the opposite, shower. Maybe you gotta take a shower, guys. Uh, Kevin, number one, Trinity, Papita, Nana, Kia, Kia, Dominica, Bad Money, great name, Inda, Carito, Sarah, welcome to the top 10. Congratulations. <laughs> shower. Stand under water that is falling on your face, where 99% of the time you just stand there. And 1% of the time, you are actually washing yourself. Any, anybody feel relatable? This is me in the shower. I'll just stand there for a long time without uh, doing anything. The spelling of shower is S-H-O-W-E-R. Shower. <laughs> I like showers. Showers make me feel good. And then I read this story and it was like, people who take long showers, um, 
need more love in their life or something like that. Like they miss hugs. They miss physical contact. I'm like, bro, I just like to take a shower. Don't attack me personally, please. I just like to take a shower. <laughs> it is the balloon girl by Banksy. You are correct. I'm from the Netherlands. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's uh, take it up a notch. All right, let's take it up a little notch. A few more difficult words. All right. The next word spelled backwards is R A L U G E R. What's the word? R A L U G E R. What word am I spelling backwards? Hmm. Hmm. This boy. I don't know. U G E R. Ray, 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 ray. I am confused. But what is the word? Yes, what's the word? Do, do, do. There you go. You got 10 seconds. You got 10 seconds. <laughs> do you feel the pressure? I thought so. Three, two, one. You're bad at listening. Hey, I'm here to help you out. This is your practice. Did a number one, Kevin, Jonathan, Kia, Kia, Papira, Nana, Dewey, Trinity, the twin sisters, great name, Graciela in the top 10. Congratulations. The word was regular. Regular? Regular. However you want to say it, I don't really care. Regular. What does a uh, regular mean? Like, you should take regular showers. What does regular mean, guys? Who can tell me? No private classes. Regular, ordinary. Mm, not in this sentence. Usual. Yes, there you go. Regular is like constant, usual, like routine. Yes, regular. Um, if you want to hang out with people, you should probably take a regular shower. If you want to learn English, you should be doing it regularly. Regular. R-E-G-U-L-A-R. -E regular. Hi, mom. We are doing a challenge. Backwards spelling. I start at the last letter and go to the first. Uh, Ratu, thank you for your gifts. Very kind of you. Spelling backwards is difficult. It absolutely is. That's the point, right? If I make every challenge too easy for you, then what's the fun? You gotta... I know you want to feel good, okay? I know you want to be the number one and feel good about yourself. But I'm here as a teacher, okay? I'm not here as your BFF. <laughs> To make you feel better after your boyfriend broke up with you. Here's your teacher. Olga, thank you so much for your gifts to Ratu. You are so kind. And of course, Sheila, thank you so much. Very kind of you. Let's continue, all right? Let's continue with these medium difficulty words, all right? These are medium difficulty words. And I think you can actually learn them for your vocabulary. Listen up. The next word is... N G I L A N G I L A Ha huh. interesting N G I L A what's the word This is a good word that I think some of you won't know, and you can definitely learn from it. So, uh, welcome to learning with me every day. Thank you so much for 88,000 likes. Thank you so much. And thank you for the follow, of course. That is how you learn English. 
Last time, N G I L A. What's the word? Five, four, three, two, one. The word was a line. A line. A line. A L I G N. A line. Anna. Kia, you made it both on the 15 second mark, but I think Kia was first. Uh, Trinity, Brianna, Eliza, Dominica, Graciela, Papira, Live Death, uh, Kevin in the top 10. Uh, Kanapa, so close. Dewey and Cassia, India. Oh, so close. What does a line mean? Good question. Good question. Anyone that can help out, what does align mean? A L I G N, align. Um, and I gotta thank somebody for their gifts. I saw them fly by. Cassia, thank you so much for your gift. Very kind of you. Who was the other one? The gifts were flying by. I'm sorry I missed them. Um, let me just check up here. Let me just check up here. Um, thank you. We're already at popularity 80 because of your gifts. That's very kind of you. Sunshine, Sheila, Anna Paula, thank you so much. EIW, Olga, uh, Nelsie's Music, thank you. Nana, My Hop, Mama, uh, Javru, uh, Shugiar, T, thank you so much. Life, Death, Death, and Eliza. Align, guys. That's what I was asking for. Full in a straight line. It could be. It could definitely be line up straight. Yes, yes, level. But there is a line can mean something else. A line can have to do with your everyday something. Thank you, Olga. Thank you, Eliza. Very kind of you to support me. Thank you so much. A line. For example, aligning schedules. Aligning schedules. In that case, what does the word align mean? What does the word align mean? Thank you, thank you for your gifts. Uh, Ratu, Cassia, Eliza, very kind. What does the word align mean? Adjust schedules. Aligning, just like making two straight lines next together. If you're aligning schedules, you're trying to find, coincide. Yes, that's the right word. Coincide, you're trying to... Make each other's schedule fit. <coughs> Align. Good job. Thank you for all your gifts. I got to move on, though, to the next word. Because this is still a, a game. So let's do it. Here is the next word. Listen up, listen up, listen up. Stop giving gifts. Listen up. The word from the back is E-N-I-T-U-O. R. Uh oh. Seven letters. E N I T U O R. What word did I spell backwards? What is the word? What's the word? <laughs> <sighs> oh, another very important word that you could be using very often. What is the word? Last time, E-N-I-T-U-O-R. What is the word? Five, four, three, two, one. The word, of course, is... Routine. Routine. Brianna, Papita, Dewey, Dida, Kevin, Inda, the twin sisters, Eliza, Nana, Anna, Anna, Nana, Nana. Good job. <laughs> Cute word, Nana. This word is weird. Yes, it is. Routine. Routine. O U U. U. Routine. Routine. Um, you gotta go see him later, Dominica. Thank you, Rosangela. I appreciate your support. Very kind of you. I think you're number three now. Uh, Kalia, thanks for the follow. Regular procedure. 
Okay, can you find an easier word for routine? What is an easy word, easy synonym for routine, guys? What is an easy synonym for routine? Habit. Yes, habit is a good word. Daily, daily routine. I think habit would be the good word here. Habit would be the right word. Shilin, thank you so much. Ratu, thank you so much. Kasia, thank you so much. Ta, 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 ta. Habit. Yes, routine is what you are used to doing every day. For example, my routine is to get up early and throw water in my face to wake up. That's my morning routine. Routine. <laughs> Trinity, thank you. Ratu, thank you. Pattern, definitely. Definitely like a pattern. It's what you do. It's what you do. Next word. Listen up. Um, what word shall we do? Mm, let's do this one, which kind of has to do with routine. Kind of has to do with routine. Listen. Y L E M I T Y L E M I T What word is it? I will say your name if you are in the top 10 or of course if you're so kind to give a gift. Thank you so much for your support. Because of you, I can teach free English every day. What is the word I'm spelling backwards? Backwards, guys. Y L E M I T. What is the word? You got 10 seconds. <sighs> Pressure. I want to say because of your gifts, we are number 77 this week on TikTok. Thank you so much. Because of that, uh, more of my videos get recommended to people just like you because of the 100,000 likes. My live streams get recommended to more people just like you learning free English every day. Thank you so much. The word, of course, is timely. Timely. Not just time, but time with an L-Y at the end. Inda, you made it to number one. Kevin, Papita, Anna, Dida, Kia, Iris, Diana, Trinity, Brianna. Very good. Sunshine, user Nime, and uh, David. So close. Ooh, so close. Timely. On time. Yes, on time. Please tell me timely when your live stream starts. Oh, every day, 8 p.m. China time, 1 p.m. Amsterdam time. <laughs> timely. Timely. On time. Timely. <laughs> um, if you haven't noticed it yet, all these words have to do with routine. Have to do with things you do every single day. Timely. Thank you so much, Trinity, for the ice cream and Nels's music for the finger hearts. I appreciate it, Cassia. The roses. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. I think we can do a few more words. Let's do three difficult, long English words. Here we go. Here we go. These are the long words. So, good luck. Let's see how good your memory is. <laughs> All right. This word from the last letter is... T N E T S I S R E P. Oh, my. Ten letters. T N E S uh, T S I S R E P. What word is it? What word am I spelling backwards? What word am I spelling backwards? Only say the right way of the word, starting with the P. You do not have to copy my backwards spelling. <laughs> what word am I spelling out? I will do it one more time. T 
N E T S I S R E P. There is no D in this word. Sorry. Very long. I told you three difficult English words. Typos, Brianna. It happens. Don't worry about it. As long as you keep practicing, that's what matters. Repeat, please, from the end. One more time. T N E T S I S R E P. Hiya. Cassia, thank you so, so, so much. You made it to the number one spot. All right. Hello. Mami. Your name is too long. <laughs> All right. Five, four, three, two, one. The word I spelled out backwards was the word persistent. Persistent. What's the meaning of persistent, guys? Write it out in the comments. Kevin, number one. Great job, my friend. Mass, Trinity, Nicolette, Graciela, Sarah, Kia, Kia, Shilin, Diana, and It's Cat in the top ten. Nana, Inda, Iris. So close to the top ten. So close. <laughs> persistent. Keep on going. Persistent. Consistent is different. Persistent, determined. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Never give up. Yes, just like English. I know English can be difficult. English grammar. Ah. English writing. Ah. You just got to be persistent, okay? Keep on going. Persistent. Persistent. Keep it going. With me, maybe. Free videos and live stream every day. Thank you so much for watching them. I appreciate it. Two more words. And they're not going to be easier than persistent. So, uh, good luck to you. <laughs> I'm just happy. I don't have to write the words. Uh, I need to write them the first time, but then you write them. All right. Listen up. From the back. The word is as followed. D-E-R-U-T-C-U-R-T-S. Uh-oh. One more time. D-E-R-U-T-C-U-R-T-S. What is the word? The first letter I told you was a D, you guys. So the word ends in a D, not an E. <laughs> I said D E R U T C U R T S. You know, I think that the people who ended in an E used autocorrect because autocorrect does not give you this word that I just spelled. But it gives you the word without the D. <laughs> I know that because I was just typing the word. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate your support so much. Thank you for the finger heart. Da, 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 da. Very kind of you. The word, of course. I will uh, spell it one more time from the start this time. Is... S T R U C T U R E D. The word is, of course, structured. Structured. Uh oh. Difficult English words. Kevin, the twin sisters, Trinity, Nana, Eliza, Nicolette, Inda, Ziggy, Papira, and Sarah in the top 10. Cassia, 11, so close. Farida, Dida, Mubazar, so close to the top 10. Good effort, good effort. Structured, structured. 
you might hear this word from your teacher sometimes. Uh, structured. What is an easier synonym for structured, guys? What is an easier synonym for structured? Thank you so much, Ratu. Organized, arranged, um, form or shape. Well, organized shape. Guideline, yes, yes, very nice. Design, and too general. Mm, order, yes, that's the word. Detailed, it can definitely be detailed, yes. Um, I like the synonym organized. Cleaned up, cleaned up. So nice, sunshine, thank you so much. Arranged, yes, Castro. Very nice, structured, structured. Like, obviously my live streams are so structured. <laughs> facts, spitting facts. <laughs> All right, the last word of today. The last word of today. And it's obviously also the l longest word, the most difficult word. So um, enjoy, I would say. Enjoy the next word. Here we go. <sighs> to spell the word from the back. Y T I L I B I S N O P S. E R. <laughs> How many letters is that? 12, 14, 15. Well, good luck to you. One more time. Y T I L I B I S N O P S E R. What word is it? There's a lot of eyes in this word. <laughs> it's like the word disavailability. The word with the most eyes. <laughs> what is the word? I spelled backwards. In 10 seconds, I will spell the word correctly. What is the word I just spelled out for you? All right. From the front. R E S. P O N S I B I L I T Y. <laughs> Trinity, calm down. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eliza, thank you so much. You have 10 seconds. Kevin, you did it! Number one! Ziggy, Dida, Dewey, It's Cat, Papita, the twin sisters, Ghoul, Anna, Eliza in the top 10. Celeste, Graciela, Nana, Sunshine, so close to the top 10. So close. Please say my name, Jack Z. Great job, my friend. Anybody, if you have guessed this word, it is incredible okay great job the word was of course responsibility responsibility i tried to do responsibilities but it doesn't fit in uh, this tiktok one um responsibility <laughs> I thought the last part, if you paid attention, I say it in um, in the syllables. Y-T-I-L-I-B-ability. Ooh, okay. And then the rest, you got it. Great job. Responsibility, bear the trust. Could be. Responsibility could mean to bear the trust. Yes. 
Difficult? That's the point. <laughs> That's the point of this word. Uh, responsibility. Listen, you want to learn English? It is your responsibility to do it every day. No one is going to force you, except if you're in high school. But um, I cannot force you. My responsibility is to help you out as much as I can. So I upload free videos every day and do the live stream. You have a chance to get fluent in English. So it is your responsibility. Responsibility, your duty. That's the easy synonym. D-U-T-Y. Duty. <laughs> Responsibility. Good job. All right. Because you like this one so much, I'll give you three bonus words, okay? I'll give you three easier bonus words. Oh, no. Lucas is tricking us with a bonus word. I didn't expect it. I'm not ready. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. From the back. D-E-X-I-F. Trick you. D-E-X-I-F. What word is it? I am trying to catch you off guard. Meaning you do not expect it. I'm trying to catch you off guard. <laughs> so everyone has a chance. What word did I just spell? D-E-X-I-F. What is the word? <sighs> you have 10 seconds. <laughs> decaf? It should be decaf. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> what is the word? Three, two, one. The word I was spelling backwards was, of course, the word fixed. Anna, Dewey, Inda, we're not sleeping. Good job. Kevin, Nana, Life, Death, Ziggy, Moo, User, 96, and Tara in the top 10. Congratulations. I, uh, I got you right there. I got you right there. Good job, guys. Good job. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Sometimes I got to throw out a little surprise to uh, help you learn that English. Fixed, guys. Fixed. Fixed can mean different things. Fixed can mean when you break something and it is fixed. Thank you so much, user, for all your gifts. Uh, it is fixed, but fixed can also mean like a fixed schedule. Like you cannot move your schedule. It's like somebody asks you out to do something tomorrow and you say, sorry, um, I got to learn English. It's fixed. I cannot change it. Fixed. Um, firm. Yes. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, user 6532781358203 for your gifts. <gasps> Please change your username. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 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 all right. You, you like it? You like it? You want another one? Okay, here comes another one. From the back, from the back, the word is L-A-C-I-D-O-H-T-E-M. There you go. APM schedule is fixed. Practicing my English. Yes. Yes, you got it. You understand. What's the word? L-A-C-I-D-O-H-T-E-M. How's your memory? Can you get it in your brain? You get the letters, you turn them around. What word is it? What word is it? You can't? It's not easy. It's not easy. Don't worry about it. These are difficult words to remember in your brain. <laughs> you gotta hope maybe autocorrect is gonna help you out. Maybe autocorrect will help you out with this one. <laughs> I'll give you some time. I'll do it one more time from the back. L-A-C-I-D-O-H-T-E-M. It's not difficult. Uh, Kevin, I mean, uh, trick on a trick. 
I am double bluffing you. It's like poker. I'm three betting you. Oh no, it's not three bet. It's like a bluff. <laughs> All right. From the front, I will spell the word for you. M E T H O D I C A L. An Uno reverse. <laughs> yeah, that's closer. It's closer to an Uno reverse card. I need some Uno reverse cards. It's like, you need to learn English. I need to learn English. <laughs> you come, I come here every day. You come here every day. Uno reversed. The word was, of course, methodical. Methodical. Lucas, what, what does the word methodical mean? Methodical? What do you mean? I don't understand. Tell me, guys, what's the meaning of the word methodical? Kevin, Lorena, Trinity, Papita, Denise, Cassia, Live Dev, Tara, uh, Natty, and Brianna in the top 10. <laughs> Congratulations. Not math care. Methodical. Orderly. Systematic. Yes, systematic, Skarska. That's it. Systematic. You claim the <laughs> bonus words were easy. Uno reverse. <laughs> Systematic. Yes. Well ordered. Yes. Just like this challenge, very methodical. Everything is planned out, obviously. Mimi, see you later. Everything, of course, planned out. <laughs> I didn't plan out these things, okay? I prepared this live stream five minutes before the live stream. 77, let's go. Rank 77, thank you so much for your support. And you finished the goal. Are you kidding me? I got to give you one last word. And I promise on my uh, tiramisu cake, this is the last word of this challenge. From the back. It is a very long word, so good luck. S-N-O-I-T-A-L-U-T-A-R-G-N-O-C. <laughs> one more time, one more time. S-N-O-I-T-A-L-U-T-A-R-G-N-O-C. What's the word? <laughs> what is the word I just spelled backwards? <laughs> what is the word I just spelled backwards? I'll give it to you one time from the front and everybody who guessed this word, I will say every single one of your names if I can. <laughs> okay, deal? From the front, C-O-N-G-R-A-T-U-L-A-T-I-O-N-S. Valeria, that was from the front. What is the word I just spelled for you? You got uh, 10 seconds left. The word, of course, was congratulations. You did it! And our number one, Dewey, Pepita, Tara, Trinity, Ziggy, Kevin, Denise, Aratu, and Nana in the top 10. But of course, my thank you for also playing It's Cat, Wonderful, Coquetas, Inda, Dida, Eliza, Shilin, Vivian, Chahaya Mu, Gallon Fire, Lols. Margie, Dada, Farida, Live Dev, Avriella, Moraine, It's Nana, Kalaya, Kik, <laughs> Yansira, Skaska, Lorena, Carla, Castro, Jagzi, JD, Fadma, Hen Henrietta. Please say hello if I say your name. There's so many names. 
<laughs> Yuni, Cassia, uh, Arab friend, I cannot read, sorry. Uh, Brianna, Aldrich, SG, Vanessa, Grace, Widia, Tao, Juliana, Vil, Dina, Kia, Kia, DD, User96, Esta, and Netflix. <laughs> Great name. Zopo, Ahsoka, uh, Tay, Nicoletta, Aiken, Ren, Clovens, QS, Alad, Angie, Nagayan, Lalea, uh, 123, Jin Hai, Laura, Sunshine, Melina, and Mrs. Nada, ABCDFGHLM. <laughs> Avalos and the guy and DM. Congratulations on doing this challenge with me. Everybody here, you are so amazing. <laughs> so the last challenge of today. Uh, the last challenge of today is a simple true or false. This is how it works. I'm going to give you a statement. A statement is a sentence, is an idea, um, and you're going to tell me if it's true or false. Kevin, so thank you so much for supporting me again today. See you later, my friend. I do appreciate it. Gosh, you Brit? Nope, I am Dutch. Alexandro, thank you for your gift. I appreciate your support. Hope you enjoy learning English with me, just like Budget Doctor. What a wonderful name. A little bit scared of you. But thank you for the rose. This is how it works. We have done this challenge one time before. And this is how it went. Um, I gave you the statement. The Great Wall of China is visible from space. This is the statement. The Great Wall of China is visible from space. If you think it's true, you click the smile emoji. If you think it's false, you click the cry emoji. If you think it's not true, true or false, you can see the Great Wall of China from space. Um, I will help you out with your statement. The Great Wall of China is uh, 21,000 kilometers long. The Great Wall of China is 21,000 kilometers long. Can you see it from space? Yes or no? Oh, it's almost a 50-50. I am surprised. You might have heard this often, that you can see the Great Wall of China from space, and it's the only man-made structure you can see from space, but in fact, this is not true. You cannot see the Great Wall of China from space, except, of course, if, you know, you go up in a balloon just above the atmosphere with a giant camera focused on the Great Wall, maybe. But in general, nope, can't do that. Uh, Google Maps does not count as from space. <laughs> I just again want to thank... Uh, <laughs> you cannot see it from space. I again want to thank um, Cassia, Ratu, and Eliza. Because of you guys, we are number 70 now on TikTok. Great. Well, we're not number 70 on TikTok, but on the weekly rankings on TikTok... We are number 70. Our record is, I think, 28, which is incredible. Thank you so much. You are helping so many people learn free English. So this is how the challenge works. It is just a true or false. There's not a top 10. It's just a true or false. See you later, Brianna. Thank you so much for playing the games with us. All right, listen up. The next question is, and these are very random statements. The next question is, um, giraffes have four kneecaps. Giraffes have four kneecaps. True 
or false. If you think it's true, click the smile emoji. If you think it's false, do not click the smile emoji. <clears throat> I have no idea. Yeah, you're going to feel that a lot today, that you have no idea. <laughs> Do giraffes have four kneecaps? Yes or no? That is the question. In the meantime, I got to get my cable. I need to charge my phone. And of course, it's not going to fit. Uh, yeah, what a Can we please come here? I need to charge my phone. Yeah! All right. It was again almost a 50 50. Do you think it's true or not? Um, the funny thing is that I double check every answer to make sure I am right. We're number 69 in the week. Woo! 69. Nice. Um,. The funny thing is that I double check each of these statements and ChatGPT says it is true. But then I Google it on Quora and Quora says it's false. Uh, it says there are no animals that have four knees. Uh, there are no mammals with four knees. Um, I'm going to say... It is false because I trust Google more than I trust chat GPT. <laughs> I always double, double check the answers, guys. You gotta make sure I give you correct information. <laughs> Thank you so much, Xander. I appreciate it. Not true. All right, next up, next up. Um, another funny fact uh, or not. That's the question, is kneecaps. Kneecaps, guys, if you didn't know, kneecap is the is this top thing on your knee. That thing. Kneecap. Did I cut my hair a few days ago? All right. And nobody noticed. <laughs> Next one. Listen up. This is about my giant nose. The human nose can detect over one trillion different sentences. The human nose can detect over one trillion different sentence, sen sense, sen sense, sorry, not sentences. This is not English learning. Sense, <laughs> S-C-E-N-T-S, -S -E sense. Is it true or false? The human nose can detect over one trillion different scents. I heard sentences. That's what I said the first time. That's why you heard it. <laughs> True or false? Most people think it's true. We have a few false, though. One trillion, guys. One trillion is a lot. Okay, that is how many zeros? Twelve? Twelve zeros. Uh, one trillion sentences right now. I can only smell good. <laughs> In fact, again, uh, ChatGPT told me it is false, but because I like to Google it, uh, is actually true. True! Your nose can detect a trillion different odors and in conjunction, conjunction with your brain can remember 50,000 cents. It is true. <laughs> Crazy, right? I don't know. Uh, for me, something just smells good or bad. That's the smell I have in my nose. I don't know what these other uh, 999,999,999,998 senses, senses are, but sure, my friend. Sure! 
<laughs> it's just like the colors in your eyes, you know? It's like guys only know like eight colors, okay? And you're gonna set, tell me that there's millions and millions? Bro, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, next one. Remember, smile emoji means true, cry emoji means false. Listen up. The Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on Earth. The Great Barrier Reef is the la largest living structure on Earth. Um, if you've ever seen the series Planet Earth, beautiful beautiful um but is it the largest living structure on earth that's the question or is there something bigger she didn't thank you so much i appreciate your support very kind of you to support us to number 70 is it the largest living thing structure on earth most people think this is true but a few think it's false the truth is that the great barrier reef is in fact the largest living structure on earth it is not a top secret base it is a reef where a lot of fish live it is true the great barrier reef is the largest living structure on earth living guys all these plants all these corals are living and um not your day don't worry the size is approximately 133,000 square miles, which in kilometers is, I don't know, man. <sighs> Americans. Uh, <laughs> the length is about 2,300 kilometers. There you go. <laughs> it's your first time. Welcome, my friend. We are doing some super random questions. Um, just to learn something about our beautiful world. Something about our beautiful world. Before we finished two English learning questions, now we're just relaxing. All right. Now we're just relaxing. <laughs> All right. Here we go. This word actually has to do with English. This word actually has to do with English. Listen up. True or false? The longest word in the English language, according to the Guinness Book of Records, is <sighs> Pneumono Ultra Microscopic Zilico Volcano Coniosis, a lung disease caused by inhaling very fine silica particles. True or false? Is the word Pneumono ultra microscopic zilico volcano coniosis, the longest word in the English language, following the Guinness Book of Records. Yes or no? Note how I'm saying Guinness Book of Records. I'm sure you can come up with another fake word or the talking about this word. And don't worry, I Google everything to make sure it's true or not. There's a few things, few people who think it's false, but the majority thinks it's true. Well, it is a very long word, just like the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, also a very long English word. But in fact, the word pneumono ultra microscopic zilico volcano coniosis is the longest word in the English language following the Guinness Book of Record. It is a lung disease caused by inhaling very fine silica particles. There you go. A lung disease. All right. Now a totally different question. 
And uh, this is a total guess. This is a 50-50 because I know you don't know. And I know I wouldn't know if this is true or false. Listen up. The longest recorded flight of a chicken is 13 seconds. The longest recorded flight of a chicken is 13 seconds. <laughs> True or false? And um, the funny thing is that the answer between chat GPT and Google is again opposite. <laughs> Flight, guys. I am not talking about floating in the air. I don't, I'm not talking about throwing a chicken out of an airplane. <laughs> that doesn't count. He has to fly. Must Google. I must check, okay? I must check the answer. All right. The longest recorded flight of a chicken, 13 seconds, might not sound like a lot. It might guess, you might guess that it is actually longer. But in fact, it is only 13 seconds. Recorded is the word here. Recorded, guys. The longest recorded flight of a chicken is 13 seconds is true. True. Um, it is true. Google agrees with me on five different pages. So, true. Over uh, the distance was over 300 feet. I need to Google. You shouldn't Google. Just guess. Okay, just guess. <laughs> um, I thought you said 30, 13, 13. All right, the next one you might actually know. The next one you might actually know. Listen up, the next one. And uh, I don't even think you need to know biology for this, but it does help. The human tongue can taste five different flavors, namely sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and no, not spicy, but umami. The human tongue can taste five different flavors. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, umami. True or not true? Spicy is not one of them. Spicy is not one of them. The human tongue can taste five different flavors. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, umami. Do you think it's true or not true? Taste. Five different flavors. Five seconds to fill in if you think it's true or not true. Most people think this is true. But you will ask Lucas, what about spicy? The last one is umami. Uh, spicy is not part of the five. So it must be false, but in fact, it is true. The only five different flavors your tongue can taste is sweet, sour, salty, bitter, umami. Why is spicy not one of them? Because spicy is not a taste. Spicy is a sensation. Sensation. You learn something new. Umami. Guys, umami is the last one. Uh, I will check the definition of umami. I know what umami is. I just don't know how to define it. Umami um, is that savory taste. For example, meat. Umami, uh, yeah, it's just a savory meat. Pleasant, savory taste. And has been described as brothy or meaty. There you go. You learn something new. <laughs> you learn something new. I hope. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Umami does sound really nice. 
Thank you, ABCDFGHIDKL, man, for updating me. Uh, we are number 65 now. Thank you so much. 65 on TikTok. Pa, pa, pa. Thank you so much. And I hope everybody enjoys learning English with me. I hope you do. I hope you do. All right. I have another 50-50 for you. This is going to be a 50-50, guys. You do not know. Listen up. The highest mountain, the highest mountain in the solar system. I didn't even finish my question yet, guys. It, I'm not going to say um, Mount Everest. The highest mountain in the solar system is Olympus Mons on Mars, which is 27 kilometers high. The highest mountain uh, in the whole solar system is on Mars. It is 27 kilometers high and it is called Olympus Mons. So it would be three times higher than the, uh, than the Himalayas. What do you think? Is this true or false? If you think it's true, click the smile emoji. If you think it's false, click the... Click the... You got it, okay? I'm sure you got it. I am gonna check. I just need to check if it is true. Yes, and both ChatGPT and Google agree with each other. Mount Olympus Mons on Mars being 27 kilometers high on a good day <laughs> is in fact the highest mountain in the solar system. Crazy, right? Only 27 kilometers. That's nothing. <laughs> it's true. It is true. How crazy is that? Yay, Mars, let's go. <laughs> Want to go to Mars, guys? I am already. I hope in my lifetime I can see people living on Mars. Not me, but people. <laughs> All right. That's some cool knowledge, right? I'll give you a few more. I'll give you a few more. Here we go. Listen up. Listen up. Uh, fun fact, back to Earth. Let's talk about Earth again. Um, the fastest land animal. Why you already click true? You don't even know the question. <gasps> the fastest land animal is the cheetah. The fastest land animal is the cheetah, which can reach speeds up to 120 kilometers per hour. It's important, 120 kilometers per hour. I mean, the fastest human does not run at 120 kilometers per hour. But is the cheetah the fastest land animal? Yes or no? Maybe there's a faster one. I mean, we have cheetahs, we have jaguars, we have mountain lions. We have a lot of speedy animals. But is the cheetah the fastest out of all of them? That's the question. Yes, it is. Most people would say yes, it is. And most people are right. Yes! Um, cheetahs can run up to 120 kilometers per hour. For my American friends, that's about 70 miles an hour. Crazy! Woo! So, um, if a, a group of cheetahs is ever hunting you, good luck running! Good luck to you! Um, you're not gonna make it. <laughs> Ostrich is faster, I believe. I'll check the top speed of an ostrich. Uh, just because I have Google open. Ostrich top speed. Um, the ostrich is top speed is much lower at 46 miles per hour. I'm calling land animals. Um, so, now you know. Cheetahs. Very, very fast. Very, very fast. Um, there you go. True or false. 
I have another fun fact, and I do not know how to pronounce this word. It is about English. It is about English. Oh, yeah, what did you know? But the word is... I cannot even pronounce this word. So I'm gonna give up. We'll move on. Um, the largest living animal in the world is the blue whale. The largest living animal in the blue whale is the blue whale, which can grow up to 33 meters. Up to 33 meters. Is the blue whale the largest animal in the world? Yes or no? 33 meters. That's ridiculous. That's like two buses. Not just one. Two buses. Do you think it's true or not true? The blue wheel. Is it true or not true? Sorry, I was Googling something else. <laughs> is it true? 33 meters is a lot, guys. It is a lot. Um, most people think it is true. And in fact, the Antarctic blue wheel can be as long as 33 meters. It is true. It is true. Cassia, 2 a.m. in Sydney. Good night, good night, good night. Hope to see you around tomorrow, the day after, the day after that. Every day. Welcome. Welcome so much. And it can weigh, fun fact, it can weigh up to 400,000 pounds. It can weigh up to 400,000 pounds or 33 elephants. <laughs> That's a big animal. This is why I do not like to swim in the ocean. No, thank you. I'll stay on the land. No, thank you. I'm not gonna go into the ocean. Uh, if you've ever seen a diver beside a blue whale, you will understand why. You will understand why. <laughs> Crazy, right? 33 meters. All right. I have another question for you. Listen up. We'll do three more facts. That's it. That's all I can give you today. Three more. True or false. True or false. Listen up. In fact, not English, but Chinese is the top one language by population spoken. In fact, not English, but Chinese is the top one language, is the number one language spoken by population. Very important notice, by population. True or false? Answer that and I'll go to the toilet. Ah, most people think it is true. And in fact, you are correct. Chinese by population means by native speakers. By native speakers is the most spoken language. English isn't even number two. Well, it's close to number two, but it's not number two. Spanish is number two. Native speakers, guys, by population, native speakers. Ooh. Interesting, right? That's the thing with English, and this is why English is so difficult, because most English speakers are non-native. They are non-natives. <laughs> Thank you so much for 150 thousand likes thank you so much for your support it's very kind of you very kind of you <sighs> all right two more two more true or false this is your last two chances these are your last two chances i should say to guess if it is true or false the highest temperature ever recorded on earth 
the highest temperature ever recorded on Earth, plus 56.7 degrees in Death Valley, California. True or not true? The highest temperature ever recorded was just a nice 56.7 degrees. True or not true? True or not true? What do you think? 56.7 degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit, 134 degrees Fahrenheit. What do you think? Is it true or not true? 56.7. Doesn't sound like that much. Doesn't sound like that much, 56.7. But is it true or not true? Most people think it's true. Some people think it's not true. In fact, it's true. It's only 56.7 degrees. Uh, the highest temperature ever recorded. And it was in Death Valley, California on July 10th, 1913. Crazy, right? Oh, actually, it became 57.8 on uh, 1922 in Libya. Wow. Great. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. I need some of that heat. Today, Wuhan is only like 5 degrees. Please give me some heat. <laughs> Not that hot, but a little bit warmer. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Here in Argentina, it's 40. You are melting. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, so anyway, the last one. The last one. Here we go. The last one. This might be an interesting one for those that don't sleep a lot. For those that don't sleep a lot. Um... The longest time spent without sleeping, the longest time spent without sleeping on record is 264 hours or 11 days. 264 hours or 11 days. Is this true or not? 11 days without sleep. Is this true or not? Following the Guinness World Record book. Oh, we're getting a 50-50 on the last one. Interesting. Only 11 days of no sleep. You're like, that's nothing, bro. That's nothing. <laughs> what do you think? 264 hours. Should I try to beat this world record? Impossible. Well, in fact, following the Guinness World Record, the record is, in fact, 11 days and 24 minutes, a.k.a. 264 hours without sleep, breaking the previous record of 260 hours. Bro, this, is, uh, this does not sound healthy. <laughs> This does not sound healthy. <laughs> Can't imagine the dark circles. It's just your whole body. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, 264 hours. This record was set back in 1964. <laughs> I advise you not to do these things. Um, I was watching a video yesterday by a uh, sleep expert and he said that after three days uh, there was this um, radio host who tried to stay awake for eight days in a row and um, for the after three days he started seeing a lot of things that weren't happening he started seeing spiders in his shoes he started seeing FBI agents trying to uh, kidnap him. He started seeing the shadows move just after three days. I can't imagine 11 days of no sleep. 
Just because of that, I wouldn't do it. Because of spiders in my shoes. No, thank you. Um, I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> and there's this famous story of uh, David Blaine, the magician. Uh, David Blaine is his name. And he was in ice for how many hours straight? He set a record for being in a massive block of ice for 63 hours. He was standing in a block of ice for 63 hours, totally naked except for underwear. And he also started to halluc hallucinate. And he said, at some point, uh, I, um, I asked the time to someone and it was like 43 hours in. He said, I asked the time and it, and it was like 43 hours and three minutes. And he said, okay, I only have this many hours left. No problem, I can do this. And then for many hours, he was just trying to push through, trying to keep going, trying to hold on for hours and hours. And then he asked the time again and it was only actually one minute later. Can you imagine spending hours and hours in pain? And in fact, it's only one minute later. Your brain tricking you. Crazy, but interesting. Guys, what do you think of that? Challenge number three. Thank you. Thank you for doing the three challenges with me today. Uh, if you miss them, don't worry. I'll upload them tomorrow to my YouTube page, and um, you will you can do the challenges again if you want to. My YouTube uh, you can find right here. Lucas Vods. They don't go to my main channel. They go to the second channel. Just now, yesterday's live stream got uploaded. Uh, it is a two and a half hour live stream where I talk with my mom about emotions, feelings, um, about true friendship, how you should talk to your friends when you're feeling bad, you're feeling sad, all those things. You can check that one also out right now in the comments right here. This channel is called Lucas Vods. Lucas V-O-D-S. Thank you so much for being here. I do really appreciate it. Everybody, you are amazing. The time in China right now is 11 p.m., 11 at night. Have a good night. Thank you for learning English with me. If you're looking for my socials, check the poll or check. send me a message. Send me a private message. I'll give you anything you want except my body. Uh, all right. Good night. See you later. Thank you so much for learning English with me. Thank you for 160,000 likes. Thank you for your support. Bye, bye.